So hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. This, um, this tutorial is going to be a continuation of the series on DAX uh, expression uh, using it in uh, DAX Studio and um, this tutorial is also preparatory to our working with DAX in DAX Studio okay so I, I felt it necessary to help you understand some of the storage and processing benefits of normalizing tables in um, when you are using it either in Power BI or even in DAX uh, Studio okay so if you looked at the previous uh, lesson we worked with um, we worked with the table the orders table we work with orders and that table here it is that table had um, that table had about 18 uh, columns it also had 9994 rows now if you put them together and try to find how many cells that are being used there it's the number of the rows multiplied by the number of the columns and that gives us 179,892 cells that are being used so right now i have split this order table into three different tables the order table here has got just order IDs and the order date, the shipment date, the ship mode, the segment, state, portal, and region. These are things that are attached to the order ID. And so I've kept them all in one table. Then we also have the sales table, which houses the row ID. In fact, this is a detail you know sales details table if you want to call it that way because it has all the rows the 9994 rows are all here and then we have the order id this order id helps us to connect it to our order tables and then we have our customer id we have our product id the product id helps us to connect this table with our product table and so we can retrieve any information associated with the product, okay? Then we have our price and we have our quantity. We don't have a sales column here because we can always derive that column by price multiplied by quantity. We're going to get whatever we want from there, okay? And then lastly, we have the product table that has the product ID, the product category, subcategory, and then the product name so this again we will connect to the sales table using the product id so back to what we're trying to establish after we've split this order table into these three different tables and we had the number of rows and columns in each of these tables you can see that we are using a total of 117,000 478 cells now the difference between what we we're using before and what it is now is about 62,414 cells see that so that is great improvement for this is improvement in storage and it's also improvement in processing when we are processing our DAX expressions it will be faster with this than it would be with this other one so now just as we did in the previous um, uh, video when we loaded this into our data model we're going to load each of these into our data model that is these three um, tables that we have here so to load it to our data model the first thing we need to do is to check if it's an excel table it's not an Excel table because I can't see the design tab here, the table design tab here. So we need to change it so that uh, a Power Pivot can, uh, can accept our tables, can take our tables, and then we can load it into our data model, okay? So um, what we're going to do is here we have format as table. So while our cursor is just in any of the cells, I am going to click on this and accept just 
any of these designs so i always like to go for this and yes my table has headers okay and then i, I clear off the uh, other formats there i want it to look like this so you can see that now i've done this i have my design tab here but i'm not going to do anything on this table now or within excel i just wanted it to be an excel table okay and so I'm going to do the same for the others, you know, just there, click, and that's what we have. Take this out, take out the filters. Um, you can leave the filters, but I just want it to look like a table, but it's now an Excel table. So here too, we do this. Yes, it has a header and um, And then we take out the filters and uh, have it this. So that is fine. So we now have it like this. If at all you have anything uh, in this sheet, it should um, just be something different. You don't want to use those things at all. Just have this in here. Have some rows separating whatever you have here. It helps. So we've done this. So the next thing we want to do is to load them into the data model so how do we do that so we go to data and from uh, this tab data here you know so you look at get and transform here get and transform group it's here so you see from table so just click on this so what it does is that it recognizes this table that we were in which is the active table and it builds you know, uh, a query that brings that table uh, into Power Query. So that's what it's doing now. And here is it. That's what we have here. So because this is our order table, we need to change it here. Just call it your order table. And so that will be it. So it will be our order table. And so if you bring this down, you see the query that actually brings it in. You see, it's actually a list. It's bringing in um, into a, a Power Query here. Okay. So um, it does that for us. So we don't need to bother our heads with uh, uh, those codes. Okay. So once this is done, we're not doing any transformation of data here. Otherwise, this is where we could do cleaning of the data putting it in ways in which we want and all of that. So um, we are not doing uh, that here. And, um, and so we can accept it and then take it into our data model. Okay, so here you come. Uh, don't use close and load, but use this close and uh, load to whatsoever. So here, here is what we have. We don't want it to load into a table in Excel or other. So we just want to build a connection, build a connection here. So that's what we'll click. And then we just come down here and say, add this data to data model. See that? So here we have this and then we can just click load. So we're going to do same for all other tables and uh, and then it would do that for us if you point your point uh, your, your mouse uh, 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 pointer here uh, for just a while you're going to see this table come out it's like a summary of this entire table it tells us the number of columns and these are the columns here it tells us when it was last refreshed then the load status it's in the data model and that is just it. We can edit it here and do any other thing. So that's for that. So we have all our three tables in the data model. But one other thing we need to do for us to be able to work with this table and relate to each of them is to build the relationship between uh, each of these uh, tables. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go into, um, uh, we are going to go into the power pivot window so when we click on the power pivot window you can see your three tables are here each of them are here so the only thing that we need to do 
is to uh, build relationships between the cell tables. So I'm going to click on design and then you see create relationship. So we're going to create relationship here. In Power BI, we've got, um, we've got a different window that helps us do this. And it's more visual because you just see the table and then you can drag uh, 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 one field to another and then build your relationship. Yes, you could do that there too. Uh, but here in Power Query, this is how we do it. So I want to build a relationship between the order table and the sales table. So which of these will I be using to do that relationship? So it's going to be this order ID and it has quickly recognized that yes, I have an order ID here too. So that's okay. So I just click my okay and then that is built. So right now we have a relationship between the order table and the sales table. So let's try to get a relationship that brings in uh, the, um, the product table. So we're going to create another one. And then here we're going to bring in the product. And we're relating it to the sales table this time. And what are we going to use? So you can see that it's not establishing anything here because of what's selected. So I'm going to use the product ID here. And we also have a product ID and you can see that it has recognized them, you know. So this is a product table. This is a one and to many. So we're building a one to many relationship here. One asterisk indicating that this is the many side, this is the one side. So, okay. And so that's practically all we need to do. We can close this, uh, we can close this table here. So having built the, the uh, data model and the established relationship, what we're going to do now is to go to our add-ins and then click on that studio. So um, that studio is going to take some time to load and there it is for us. So it recognizes that there is an Excel file that has got some data in its, in its data model and then it has brought it out here for us. You see that. So if it were in Power BI, we would have had this highlighted and it will tell us the file where it has detected all of that. So this is it. And so we click connect. So it's going to build a connection to our data model. And then we will be able to um, use it. So that is what we have here now. So you can see our three tables are here and you could test them just like we did in the uh, previous tutorial and then uh, evaluate and just put just the order table order table and run it hit your f5 to run it so it runs successfully and then that's what we have here so you could do that for just all of them and uh, they would do just as expected so that's it so uh, be careful when you accept it from the table you need to check it that it's doing the right thing. So, so that's what we have. So F5. So F5 does the same thing as running. So we can click this place to run it. And uh, then we have our sales table. Sales. So I can hit F5. And so we have everything here. The beauty of this is that if we had the, if we had relied on the previous table, just one table, there are many interesting things that DAX can do for us that we wouldn't have been able to do or experiment with. So right now we'll be as, we'll be able to experiment with things like a uh, relationship between uh, two different tables in order to come up with uh, a virtual table. So these are the benefits of having normalized tables, which uh, reduces uh, our main table 
into different tables and helps us to gain speed and also to save uh, some storage space for whatever data we are bringing into Power BI or we're bringing it into uh, Power Pivot. So from our next uh, video, we would start working with DAX expressions. So I look forward to having you uh, watch my next video. And uh, before then, practice with this tool that we have. Do some experiments with them, get a table and then use it and um, see how this uh, agrees with whatever you have learned in, uh, in this tutorial. I'll be putting a link to the file that you can use to do this if you want to use my own tables. But I always, I always encourage that learners should get tables just from anywhere and then practice with those uh, tables. The DAX expressions are the same, but the queries can be similar in, the, in terms of what you want to get out from the tables. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to work with my tables. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.